Hey guys, Mike here from Old Man Things. How are y'all doing? Thought I'd do a Friday night pipe chat. I haven't done one for a long time. And I'm in the old Frog and Toad pub. Um, I was thinking of how, I think maybe the last time I did a pipe chat, I was over on that end in my chair and it was the Fisherman's Nook. So, um, let me light my pipe, I'm gonna spill it. Can I use, smoking my Fisherman's Dutter, I just, and I use, I fill this up every day. My merchant service. And, and I mean, this is just, it's, it's the absolute best, it's old school. And I take it everywhere with me. And it's not that much. I believe it's thirty dollars. I believe it's thirty dollars on. Um, in fact, I just um, emailed the guy who owns it tonight. Greg, he's a great guy. Check out their website if you ever have a chance. Very old school English. Um, Bing Crosby used to smoke a uh, uh, merchant service pipe. Real long. Billiard. Got this yesterday. Or I should say I'm smoking um, a James Upshaw. I just love this pipe. And that's like a freehand. I would imagine that's a Dublin freehand. Ben? It's got the silver band. And it's got a replacement. Damn. So I got this yesterday. We had company that came yesterday. My mom and stepdad came and they were here yesterday and then they left this afternoon. We had so much company since school got out. It's, I mean, since school got back in, it's kind of crazy, but I got this just as brand new. And I had to wait so long for it. And it came from Germany. It's a Zippo, the polished um, chrome, with old Winston Churchill on it, and it says, Let us go forward together. And then it has a signature, and then it has the 13th of May, 1940, and that was the day he became Prime Minister. And I... I I waited and waited to uh, use it until today when they left. Um, and I was so happy with it. And I thought I'm going to keep, I'm not going to like put this in my pocket and stuff because I don't want the picture to rub off or anything. And of course, I drop everything anymore. Um, I can't even go into it. When I go shopping, my wife makes me put my hands in my pockets because I'll pick up a jar and I just don't have any control anymore, hardly. I drop my pipe, 
I dropped my pipe just a little while ago. Anyways, I dropped it. Face down on the concrete, got all dings in it. Oh well. But having a pint, and I'm quite pleased because they they only bring this out for a couple weeks a year, and last year was the first time they brought it out in years. And it's a lining kugels sunset wheat and it's this is it has a hint of blueberry and citrus flavors and I'm not really big on flavored beer but I do love this because I love blueberry in fact my favorite pie is blueberry and I, I like to slice it and then what I like to do you might think this is crazy but I like to take heavy whipping cream and kind of drizzle over the slice so I have my slice in a bowl and drizzle the heavy whipping cream over it it's really good Anyways, it tastes like it has just a hint of blueberry. So. I'm having a hard time with this pipe. So. Three years ago today, a very close and dear friend of mine died. We called her Mumsy. And she was like a mum to me. And I met her when I got my first job out of college at a newspaper as a graphic designer. And she worked, she would lay out the the pages with the ads in the newspaper. And she was so naughty. I mean, she's this little like five foot tall lady with white hair, short hair, and she just she sit it the way it was. You, know? you gotta, you just. I mean, to me, I just love that character. I'd rather have somebody say it the way it was, and if they hurt your feelings, they hurt their feelings instead of be all nice and you know. And then the second you leave, they stab you in the back or run you down or whatever. Well, she said it the way it was, and she had worked there like 40 years. And her husband, she called, her husband was Pee Wee, is what she called him, Pee Wee. She was Mumsy, and he was Pee Wee, and he died at, um, had real bad diabetes and died. And, um, he died just before I... Um, got the job there so she was at that point she was all alone and I just I just loved Mumsy and one one time we had a Christmas party and they said because she was there the longest she got to do the first song and she said take she's without even hesitating she goes take this job and shove it so they played that song so that would have been Saturday and on Monday I remember my manager, my old manager, Dick, um, she used to call him Dickie Bird, and he would hum, he'd get nervous, he would be saying something, he'd get nervous, he'd go, hmm, hmm, and she'd go, oh, there's Dickie Bird humming. <laughs> and he came and he goes, her name was Harriet, and they called her Hair, but um, a few people called her Mumsy, I called her Mumsy to the day she died. And she would, and they, he called her and he said, um, Helen, so was the president, the publisher of the, the newspaper wanted to um, talk to, to see her. So the whole way she's going down the hallway, she's going, bye, out, bye, out. And she wanted to retire early. Well, when she came back, I said, what happened? She said, I got a bio. I didn't believe it. And the next day she was gone and we started to go in. Um, my wife and I were just married. So she started every every like i think it was every monday we would go there and we lived in a little apartment we didn't have a washing machine or anything so we would she did our um, laundry for us and then we'd go there and we'd eat and she'd make so much when it was the best food you ever had and we went there all that we had a christmas with her thanksgiving with her and it was just we just loved her to bits and then just before we got ready to move. 
she married this guy named Earl, whose wife had died. In fact, it's a funny story because there was this old guy that wanted to date her and he kept, he wouldn't leave her alone. He'd keep on calling her out and she had no interest in this guy. And one day he said, you know, I don't drink or smoke. And Mumsy said, well, then what, what the hell fun are you? And she hung up the phone because <laughs> she smoked and drank. She'd have her toddies, what she called toddies, and it was gimlet, a uh, vodka gimlet. And she married this guy named Earl, and he was a jerk. And he was very jealous. He didn't want no one else to have nothing to do there. So, And then we ended up moving to Oklahoma for seven years, and every once in a while I'd call her. And then one day I saw, because we would get, like, we would always check, you know, the newspaper because my wife knew so many people in that area. We saw that he had died, so I called, and he died on um, Christmas Eve. So we, I called her up, and she was all, you know, bawling and stuff, and then we we got close again. And then when we moved back to Wisconsin, we were in um, where we lived on the lake. She had a lake property. I mean, she didn't live there full time, but she had a little property on a lake, and she had a nice little trailer and stuff. So when she'd come up on the weekends, we would always, she'd have us over for dinner and she'd um, have like the best prime rib and stuff. So we actually get, we got some, not prime rib, but tenderloins. We got some tenderloins. It was my son's 19th birthday today. We got some tenderloins grilled out in honor of her. She was so much fun. I really miss her. Never had to trouble with my pipe. Anyways, it's going into the 11, what, 12 minutes, so. Just was thinking of her and thought I'd share some stories. I'll show you my Winston Churchill lighter. Quite pleased with that. I got something also I got today, but um, I didn't get it yet. I'm quite pleased with it. It's supposed to come on Monday, so if, I, if it comes on Monday and it's halfway decent, I can clean it up all right. I'll show it off. I'm not usually the one that shows off stuff I get. I'll show that off. Every while, you say. Oh, and then if you are, you also watch my other channel, the old Coots Theater. I'm um, halfway through with my script of my next episode of The Enemy Old Cigar, and it should be quite fun. I was laughing doing that. In fact, I'm doing a um, pipe stand for Rob um, Hooten of Briar, and I was, and he wants Charlie, and he's the one who won the contest, and so I was doing the head, and I, I'm not gonna do it justice, I know, but as I was doing the head, I was having Charlie talk the whole time. Oh, you know, is that how you're gonna make my nose? So it's just been so busy, and um, I've been having flare-ups nonstop. In fact, the other night when I did my my video, the kind of the goofy video. It was the first day in a long time that I felt good. And then, of course, after I got done doing it, I was, and I think because I was jumping and stuff, <laughs> I was, um, I suffered after that. But anyhow, I thought it was fun. So, so there will be a end of my old cigar probably next week, Friday. I'll film it. Should be fun. So Charlie's so easy to write for. I don't even know they have to think about it. And this Bertie's kind of the hard one to figure out what I should have him do. But anyhow, all right, guys. Now I've gotten to fourteen minutes. Sorry if you're still watching. I appreciate it. Um, got a lot of new subscribers. Really appreciate them. And again, everyone who subscribes to me, I subscribe to you. And um, a lot of times I don't leave messages. Uh, like comment because I watch it on the TV in my I got a little, little TV in my office and it's like so I and um as I work so 
it's hard for me to think about going back and then writing it in. And every once in a while I will think, oh yeah, I gotta go back and write, you know, what I thought and everything and give a thumbs up. I always give any video I watch and give a thumbs up because I figure if you guys took the trouble to do it, I'm gonna give you a thumbs up. You don't see comments from me. I do watch, I watch everyone. So when I have a lot, I owe a lot of people a lot of parcels and those will be coming, going out pretty soon as well. Again, I had company all last weekend, company again today. So, I was going to do a video of my, my, um, tobacco seller. Is any, I don't know if anyone would be interested and I don't have any, it's not scratching the surface compared to others, but I keep my pipe, my cigar humidor down there and everything. If anyone would be interested, I can do that. So, all right guys, just wanted to say hello and show off my new lighter and if you guys are in America, I think you should be able to find that um, Sunset Wheat beer. And it, it's, you, they sell in little six packs of cans. I think it's like $6, so you can't really go wrong. So it's worth getting and just trying it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Thanks. Bye.